Hi, as promised, we can have a look inside the Eddystone communications receiver model 910 stroke 1. Nice piece of kit. Um, it's a little bit deaf, I believe. I've mentioned this before, I know, but it's a little bit deaf. I've got to check it over, see what's going on. I've done all the alignment, but um, anyway, let's uh, let's not hang about. Let's have a look, first of all, at the top of the chassis there. OK, this is the top view of the chassis. Um, rectifier. Uh, that's a stabiliser valve there. Uh, then we've got RF amp there, mixer, oscillator. That is the BFO and uh, the product detector for resolving sideband and CW. Here, crystal calibrator and this little unit on top. A couple of valves there, that unit plugs in. Uh, what else have we got? Uh, that's audio output. This, I believe, is detector. This is the audio output transformer. This is detector, 85 kc IF amp there. In here is the, what is it, 1400 kc uh, IF amp and uh, mixer oscillator. So, you know, because you've got two IFs on this one. This cover here is quite easy to remove. I won't do it now though. Quite easy to remove. Then you can see the, the tuning gang down there, uh, which is Two, I think, yeah, three section tuning gang for your oscillator mixer sorry RF amp mixer and oscillator there if you can see there are four crystal sockets so you can have four sort of crystal controlled uh, sort of preset frequencies um, on receive which is rather good not a lot to see but um, quite a few emails from people we want to see inside so there's the inside in fact Yes, rather nice, rather nicely built, usual Eddystone uh, sort of design, sub chassis sort of all bolted together. Th this, the product detector here, when I switched, uh, when I switched to sideband and CW, there's a, a problem in here, in this, this can where the components are, there's a problem, there's a lot of noise crackling going on and it's not right, so what I've got to do is work out how to get this out probably bolted in from underneath once I can get that out into the open and have a look inside probably some capacitors in there that want changing okay so that's the top of the chassis I shall now show you underneath there's not actually a great deal to see underneath I won't take this cover off because I've done all the alignment these numbers I've written here um, where are we? It's uh, the oscillator. These are the oscillators. Uh, you no, know, that's not right. These are, this is that's right. Oscillator, oscillator, oscillator. These are all oscillators for various bands. Sorry, down here. Get it right. It's because it's all upside down. RF amp, RF amp, mixer, oscillator, and I've numbered these because the 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 manual uh, is wrong. These are wrong. So I've had to find out by sort of trial and error which is which, and then I've marked them. So as I say, I've done the alignment. So that's uh, that's all done now. That's pretty good. Um, not a lot to see because all that lot's covered up, of course. Fairly easy to work on. Uh, one or two bits hidden away down there. I've got an idea. There's a problem. Someone's changed a couple of resistors and a capacitor down there. That's the 85 kc IF stage in there and um, there's some more capacitors here that I want to change I'm not sure that this is as I've said quite up to scratch it's a little bit deaf so I'm going to do some checks with the signal generator and also compare it uh, to the Eddystone receiver that I've got under the bench so um, anyway that that's what you see below the chassis all nice and neat nice wiring um, very easy to do the alignment as well. You've got the, the coils for the padding um, and you've got the uh, the beehive trimmers. Uh, they're Phillips, I think Phillips beehive trimmers, um, which uh, you have to adjust with the special tool. It's like a box spanner. 
So uh, you've got the coil, the uh, the capacitors, the trimmer capacitors, which do the HF uh, end of the dial on each band, and that that's the trimming, and then the the coils for padding, which do the the low frequency end of of the band. So you've got um, RF that section. This section here is mixer. Down here is the oscillator. The oscillator was actually a fair way out on all bands, so uh, I had to had to put that right. Okay, I'll just show you the front again because I want to show you there's a there's a way of moving the pointer to set the calibration. I'll show you that now. Okay, there's the front. Unfortunately, because the the lighting in here reflected in the glass here, I can see on the monitor. Um, <laughs> You can see everything reflected in the glass. I was just going to show you this. You can just see this little knob up here. What this does, um, if you turn this, it moves the pointer. You turn it that way or that way, only a little bit, only sort of half an inch or so. And the idea of that, when you press this button here, that switches on the crystal calibrator. So what you do is you, you tune to six megs, find the crystal calibrator, then you can adjust the point, you just move the pointer to get it spot on the, the 6 meg um, position. So uh, that, that's quite useful. It's just that you know, these old receivers do drift. Uh, and uh, you know it's just a way to find out exactly where you are with the crystal calibrator. You can do that on all bands of course. Um, just, just adjust that. So what I did was I put this in the middle of its travel. Um, and then do the, the oscillator alignment, obviously. You don't want it set at one end. So that's the front, complete with the reflections of bits and pieces. Yes, the, uh, the Eddystone 910 Oblique 1. There we are, I'll just show you in the back there. Uh, you can see in here the tuning gang. Um, this is the octal socket for the uh, field strength meter, sorry, uh, S meter here. That one, and I think this is one to use with a transmitter. So you, when you transmit, you desensitize the receiver. Um, aerial and earth. Again, if you take that link off there, unearth that, you then got the two aerial connections for a balanced feeder, which is quite nice. Um, 600 ohm output or two and a half ohm output for a speaker. And there's a desensitizing link there, which you, undo disconnect when you're using it with a transmitter because obviously you don't want to turn the transmitter on while you, you've got the receiver on so yeah nice size mains transformer in there that's rather nice all very well built um, and that's about it three nice dial lights along the top there don't when you you can't really see those three nice dial lights that uh, that also light up the the desk or the bench or whatever in front of the receiver so which is nice for uh, you know, a logbook or something if you're writing down stations or whatever you're doing call signs or whatever so that's it rather a nice piece of kit very pleased with that except I think it's deaf <laughs> but I'll keep you posted on that so there we are as promised a look inside the Eddystone that says Marconi on the front and Stratton inside it's a nice receiver as I said, it's got a couple of problems. There's a product detector. When I switch to CW and SSB, um, turn the RF gain down and the AF gain up. RF and IF gain on this. Turn them down, AF gain up. A lot of crackling going on. It's not the valve. That's the BFO and the product detector there. It's not the valve. Um, so I don't know what it is. It's something in that can which I'll have to sort out. Uh, it's a shame. I've had a look in here in this cam where the the uh, what is it the 1400 kilohertz IF stages mixer and oscillator all in this can a couple of valves there it's all rather nice it hasn't been got at which is good apart from as I said under the chassis a couple of resistors and a capacitor have been changed but I want to check the sensitivity just before I install it I've made a, a place for it um, I've just got to uh, check the sensitivity and then it's all done everything's working nicely so okay thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed the video bye bye for now